A brief life sketch of the father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. In the year of 1920, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was born in Tungipara village, now Upochela, under the then Gopal Ganj subdivision of Greater Furidpur district on March 17, 1920. His father, Sheikh Lutfar Rahman, and his mother, Saira Khatun, had four daughters and two sons. Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was their third child. 1927 At the age of seven, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman began his schooling at Gimadanga Primary School. At nine, he was admitted to class three at Gopal Ganj Public School. Subsequently, he was admitted to Gopal Ganj Missionary School before becoming active in student movements and politics. Sheikh Mujibur Rahman had an affinity toward sports like any other teenager. He possessed a special love for football. 1932 Sheikh Mujibur Rahman married Sheikh Fazilatun Nisa or Renu. Together they had two daughters, Sheikh Hasina and Sheikh Rehana, and three sons, Sheikh Kamal, Sheikh Jamal, and Sheikh Rasul. 1942 Sheikh Mujibur Rahman passed matriculation examination from Gopal Ganj Mission School, or we say matric exam. The same year he got himself admitted into the Islamia College, currently Maulana Azad College, Kolkata. From there he completed his graduation in the year 1947. During that time he used to stay in Baker Hostel in Kolkata. 1943 Sheikh Mujibur Rahman became close to Hussein Shahid Sarawarti. That year, he was elected Councillor of Bengal Provincial Muslim League, branch of All India Muslim League. He continued to serve admirably in this position till partition of India. 1946 Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was elected uncontested as the General Secretary of Islamia College Students' Union. During the communal riots known as Kolkata Killing on 16th August 1946, he engaged himself in maintaining peace and communal harmony, saving lives of many members of both Hindu and Muslim communities even at the risk of his own life. 1947 Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman met Mahatma Gandhi during his peace mission in Kolkata. Sheikh Mujibur Rahman joined Hussein Shahid Sarawarti's move for a united independent Bengal as a third free state along with India and Pakistan. The move was aborted. However, he became the foundation of the father of the nation's vision for an independent Bangladesh. 1948 Sheikh Mujibur Rahman took admission in the Department of Law at the University of Dhaka. He founded the East Pakistan Muslim Students League, the first opposition student organization in Pakistan, January 4. Sheikh Mujibur Rahman plunged himself in overt activities to build a strong movement against the Muslim League's memorandum to make Urdu as the state language of the Pakistan. On March 2, a meeting held at Fazlul Haq Muslim Hall approved a resolution placed by Sheikh Mujib to form an all-party state language action committee. He was arrested along with some colleagues on March 11 while they were demonstrating in front of Secretariat building in observance of the state language Bangla Day. The student community of the country became restive following his arrest. In the face of overpowering student protests, the Muslim League government was forced to release Sheikh Mujib and other student leaders on March 15, 1949. Sheikh Mujibur Rahman supported the movement for securing the jobs of the fourth class employees of Dhaka University and their rights. On 19th April, while preparing for a rally in favor of the fourth class of employees, he was arrested along with a few other students in front of the vice chancellor's house. On 23rd June, East Pakistan Awami Muslim League, currently Awami League, was established and Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was elected 
as joint secretary while he was in jail. 1952 While in captivity, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman stayed in constant touch with those waging the movement to realize Bangla as one of the state languages. He issued key directives to make the movement a success even from the confines of his prison. On February 16, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman started a hunger strike unto death that lasted for 11 days and was released on February 27. On February 21, the agitated students came out to strike to establish Bangla as one of the state languages of Pakistan in defiance of the curfew enforced by the authorities. Salam, Borkot, Rufik, Jabbar, Shofir, and many others were murdered when the police fired on a rally. In a statement released from the jail, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman expressed deep sorrow for those who lost their lives and protested against the unjust police firing through hunger strike. The same year, he visited China to attend a peace conference. There he delivered a resounding speech in Bangla, taking the mother language movement to a global audience. 1953 Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was elected General Secretary of the Awami Muslim League and continued to gain prominence as a Bengali leader. 1954 The first election in East Pakistan was held on March 10. The United Front won 223 seats out of 237. The Awami League was victorious in 143 seats. Sheikh Mujib won the election for the Gopal Ganj constituency and took oath on May 15 as Minister of Agriculture and Cooperative in the new provincial government. The central government arbitrarily dismissed the United Front Cabinet on May 29. And as Mujib landed back in Dhaka from Karachi on May 30, he was immediately arrested. He was released on December 23. 1955 Under the leadership of the party general secretary Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, the Aomi Muslim League was renamed as the Aomi League by dropping the word Muslim to open the doors of the party to all, regardless of religion. This decision was made at the council session of the party during October 21-23, 1955. Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was once again elected as the general secretary of the party. 1956 Sheikh Mujibur Rahman joined the provincial Aumili League government as a minister. He remained in this position for nine months only. Sheikh Mujibur Rahman voluntarily resigned on May 30, 1957 from the cabinet in order to continue as the general secretary of the party to build the organization on a firm footing as a platform of the Bengalis. 1957 Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was re-elected as the general secretary of the party at its council meeting held during June 13-14, 1957. From June 24 to July 13, he visited China on an official tour. 1958 Pakistan's president and the chief of army imposed martial law on October 7 and banned all political activities. Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was arrested on October 11. Thereafter, he was continuously harassed in false cases. He was released from prison after 14 months but he was arrested immediately at the jail gate. 1961 Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was released from jail after the High Court declared his detention unlawful. He set up an underground network called Revolutionary Council for Independent Bengal comprising leading student leaders in order to work for the independence of Bangladesh. 1962 Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was again arrested by the Ayub government on 6th February 1962. He was freed on 18th June following the withdrawal of four-year-long martial law on 2nd June. He travelled to Lahore on 24th September and with Hussain Shahid Sohrawardi and with other opposition parties formed the National Democratic Front. 1966 
On February 5, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman presented his historic six-point program, known as the Charter of Freedom of Bengali Nation. It drew the road map for the independence of Bangladesh under the grab of greater autonomy. On March 1, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was elected the president of Aumi League. He traveled far and wide in order to gain support for the program and was arrested eight times. With the final arrest on May 8, he was imprisoned for nearly three years during this time. 1968 On January 3, the then autocratic Pakistan government filed a case known as the Agartala Conspiracy Case against Sheikh Mujibur Rahman and a number of Bengalis, politicians and civil and military officials on the charge of cessation of East Bengal. Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was shown arrested on January 18, while already he is in jail. Mass movement spread across the country demanding the release of all accused including Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. 1969 the Agurtola conspiracy case resulted in a nationwide student movement and mass upsurge demanding the withdrawal of the case and the release of Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. With continued pressure from the public, the then autocratic Pakistan government on February 22 was forced to withdraw the Agurtola conspiracy case and released Sheikh Mujibur Rahman and others. Afterwards, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was awarded with the title Bongo Bundhu at a reception of a million students and the masses in a rally organized by Central Student Action Committee at the race course Moidan, now Saharwardi Uddan, on February 23. At a discussion meeting held on December 5 to observe the death anniversary of Saharwardi, Bongo Bundhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman declared that henceforth East Pakistan would be called Bangladesh. 1970 Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman urged his countrymen to elect Aumi League in the light of the six-point demand. He chose boat as the symbol to represent Aumi League. On 12th November, when a million people died in a catastrophic cyclone in the coastal areas, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman suspended the election campaign and rushed to the affected areas. Aumi League achieved absolute majority in the general elections held on 7th December 1971. On 1st March, following the postponement of the National Assembly session by the autocratic Pakistan government only two days before the session was scheduled, every section of the Bengalis stormed in the street in massive demonstrations. On 7th March, in his historic speech before the millions at the Rescourse Moidan or Sohrawarti Uddan, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman called his fellow countrymen to take out all preparation for the war of liberation and independence of Bangladesh and declared in his unique tremendous voice, The struggle this time is a struggle for emancipation. The struggle this time is a struggle for independence. This speech is recognized as the part of the world's documentary heritage. The UNESCO has included Bangabandhu's 7 March address as its memory of the world register. On the midnight of the 25th March, the Pakistan army launched its heinous genocide against the unarmed Bengalis. Sheikh Mujibur Rahman proclaimed the independence of Bangladesh in the early hours of 26 March. Immediately, he was arrested from his residence in Dhanmundi and taken to Pakistan. On 10th April, the first government of Bangladesh was formed, announcing Bangabandhu as the president. On 17th April, a six-member cabinet took oath, headed by Said Najrul Islam, the acting president, and Taijuddin Ahmed, the prime minister. After nine months of bloody war, Bangladesh was liberated on 16th December 1972 On January 8, the autocratic government of Pakistan was forced to release Sheikh Mujibur Rahman from jail under international pressure. On January 10, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman returned to Bangladesh via London and New Delhi. He was received by millions of grateful citizens and went straight from the airport to the race course Moidan, currently Sohrawardi Uddan where he addressed the nation. 
On January 12, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman took charge as the Prime Minister of Bangladesh and embarked on the reconstruction of a war-ravaged country. Within a period of three and a half years, Bangabandhu laid the foundations of the new republic by putting into place many effective measures. 1973, led by Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, the Awamilik secured 293 seats out of the 300 parliament seats in the first general elections held on March 7 in the independent Bangladesh and subsequently formed a new government on the basis of the newly framed constitutions. On May 23, the World Peace Council awarded Joliot Curie Peace Prize to Bongo Bundhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman for his contribution to world peace. Sheikh Mujibur Rahman attended the Non-Aligned Movement Summit Conference in Algeria. 1974 On September 25, at the 19th General Assembly of the United Nations, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman addressed the world in Bangla. It was the first ever Bangla speech delivered at the UN. Only a few days ago, Bangladesh received world recognition by becoming the 136th member of the United Nations on September 17, 1975. In the pre-dawn hours of August 15, father of the nation Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, the architect of Bangladesh, was assassinated by a handful of army renegades as part of a larger national and international political conspiracy hatched by anti-liberation forces. The murdered in cold blood every member of his family except his two daughters. Sheikh Hasina and Sheikh Rehana, who by fortune alone were abroad at that time. Bangladesh observes the darkest day of the nation, August 15, as the national mourning day and remembers the noblest and the greatest Bengali who ever lived through his spirit, ideology, courage and love for the people of his nation. Memorable quotes of Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman no great literature or refined artwork can ever be developed while being detached from the people. In order to stand tall in the world as an independent nation, the dignity of our language, literature, culture and heritage have to be established at home and abroad. Our literature and culture should not be restricted within confinement of the city buildings only. The vibrant heartbeats of the millions living in the rural areas of Bangladesh should also be reflected in it. The imperialists usually attack the system of education, culture and language when they want to exploit, because exploitation would not be easy without destroying those elements.